Hi everyone, this is Dr. Balasai from Hyderabad and I did my MBBS from Rajiv Gandhi Institute of Medical Sciences, Telangana and right now I'm pursuing my first year MD in Anesthesiology at Goa Medical College. Hello everyone, myself, I'm Surya and I'm studying MBBS third year in Rajiv Gandhi Institute of Medical Sciences. Basically, I am a junior of uh, Dr. Balasai in his undergraduate. In a recent conversation with him, I got to know that he is into something called ICMR research which we were not aware during uh, our undergraduate days so i'm glad that he's into research work during his undergraduate days i thought uh, our conversation will be helpful for most of the undergraduate students right now uh, so we plan to do this so surya what is this icmr research you are into actually uh, guys uh, I was into something called ICMR STS project, which means ICMR is basically Indian Council of Medical Research. We heard about ICMR, we heard about ICMR name during this COVID time about the vaccine related information and all. So ICMR is a national body which consists, which consists of all the information related to research work in medicine. So it has many functions and out of its functions, it have provided a smaller contribution for the success and for knowledge building of undergraduate students and that project is called STS project which means short term studentship so I am doing something called ICMR STS which is Indian Council of Medical Research short, short term studentship Okay Surya, so how do you knew about this uh, ICMR studentship project? Actually sir, uh, I have got to know about uh, ICMR uh, studentship project during my second year days itself but as we all know, I mean, during the second year will be very much playful and uh, we always consider second year to be the honeymoon period of our undergraduation. So I wasn't uh, much concentrating on what it is. But after the COVID time, after the pandemic, after the lockdown and all, I have got much serious about to do something uh, peculiar, something different, something unique, which is helpful to me. So uh, I got to know about this uh, ICMR project once again during my third year through my community medicine faculty, through my community medicine department, but I, but I didn't pay much attention to it. I just got the information from community de department, but I have got much attention towards it when my students of other college, other medical colleges, and my friends and my sister of other medical colleges are knowing about this and have applied for it. For it. Okay, so that's, that's really good thing. Most of us, really will hear these things during our graduate days but we don't take it seriously so you heard about this i mean you tried to explore this part and uh, finally you are now a part of this right now right so yes. that's very good to hear and what is the process of notification registration approval and all these things regarding this project sure sir actually icmr sts we will be having one website if you press icmr sts then you will be having the link the url which will give the every information about the updates and all generally we get the update every year between uh, january and february during the january and february i mean during the end of uh, during the beginning of the year we will get the notification and the icmr team will give you one month of time where you need to complete two process which is First one is the registration process and the second one is online application submission process. So within this one month span, you need to complete two works, which is sub, uh, online registration and application submission. After you submit the application, after one month, I mean, uh, you will have that you will, you will have to submit, you, ha you will have to submit the application in the February. So during the April or May, they will give uh, the ICMR uh, website will give you the results of the students who are eligible to ca carry on the research i mean during this time we are pub we are giving the proposal and by april or may they will uh, they will check our proposals and they'll put the list of students who have got the approval to conduct the research work and we will be having may june july august september five months out of these five months we have to select two months we have to do a short term research project and submit the approval i mean i mean submit the report report project so that is the whole process of uh, ICMR STS sir. And uh, uh, at, the, at the end of the registration, at the end of uh, the approval, at the end of uh, uh, submission of the project, admission submission of the report, uh, if it gets accepted, you will have uh, uh, a certificate from ICMR and also a stipend worth 50,000 rupees. That's the reward. Oh, that, that's attracting, right? That's attracting. Yes. and. Yeah, so what I had and what I have understood is 
after notification you will have one month time period uh, in which you need to do two things one is uh, registration the second one is of application submission with the proposal proposal for that you need to have a mentor yes what is this mentorship part i mean uh, how, how did you choose your guide and uh, what happens actually yes sir actually i, I have told two works during the january to february during this time we have to do two works which consists of four tasks two work means online registration and application submission this two work will have four tasks which includes submitting your details submitting your guide details which is mandatory then submitting the certificates from the college that you have a good conduct and the fourth one is the proposal part which consists of the project which we are doing the topic which we are interested and how we are going to do the uh, the brief procedure not entire project but the brief procedure of how you are approaching and how you want to do how you want to conduct the research these all these things all these things are uh, done uh, within this one month of span within this one one month span of time so that the icmr team uh, will have a belief on you to accept okay. your project so uh, that proposal has to be approved initially right your proposal has to yes, be approved sir. To go to the next step, the, uh, this yes. this has to happen in the first one month itself. After these four yes. things uh, finishes, ICMR will approve your proposal, right? We have to we have to continue the other uh, 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 research work, which consists of uh, report submission. This is the first one is proposal submission, and after the approval, it is report submission. Uh, for report submission, how much time you will have? Like after your after your proposal gets approved. how much time you will have to submit your report i mean to finish your research activity yes sir after submission of our proposal within one or two months within one to two months we get the uh, uh, we get the result whether our project got approved or not by the end of april or the beginning of may so from may june july august september you will have time month five, uh, five solid months out of which you need to select two for two feasible months for you and your guide you, you need to conduct a study which gets done within this short period of time so basically you can do a cross sectional study which lasts for short period of time and you need to submit the report the final report that you have done so on so in this procedure these are the results this is the discussion these are the references by the end of yeah October. that's why it is called a short term uh, project right yeah that's why it is called a sh- short term studentship because it's done generally research may take years of time but this have to be done within 2 months and this is done to inculcate the uh, concept of research among undergraduates that's the reason why community medicine is a part of undergraduate curriculum since first year and uh, i think uh, anyone from the first year i mean not only like third year students who will have the community medicine as their in their curriculum from the first year itself they can do research work right yes yes sir actually i was the one uh, i was the one who is doing my research during my third year but uh, the my coming juniors my juniors who are in second year who are in first year have also have also applied for the uh, proposal they they even know the procedure of the research they even know the references how to quote a reference they know about vancouver style they know different things which are related to research and i feel like they are the major competitors of present times yeah 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 so uh, they are changing with the time yeah so usually the research work and all usually is conducted by post graduate students or uh, the phd students right uh, so usually the, in, during the undergraduate time people will not have i mean people will not get to explore this side of research or to uh, the world of research uh, but there is there are opportunities there are opportunities like this icmr short term uh, projects uh, studentship projects yes. right so we need to know yes. about our opportunities and we need to take an initiation for ourselves to explore the world of uh, to, uh, to explore the world of yes. research right so surya what is your topic for your research and what is the reason behind choosing that particular topic actually guys uh, during my clinical postings for uh, radiology surgery or medicine uh, in our area in in the in the college which i am uh, which i am studying we get a lot of uh, students related to renal calculi renal stones kidney stones so there are a lot of cases which we observed during our clinical postings probably dr bala sai have also experienced during his undergraduation or his internship i did remember my internship days yeah i did remember my internship days where uh, most of the people coming to surgical opd with an ultrasonography report in the uh, report with them 
if you uh, if you see i mean most of them who complains of either burning maturation or a pain in abdomen or pain in the flank region uh, most of them in the ultrasonography report there will be like uh, there is a renal stone or a bladder stone i mean i did see like if i sit in, in the opd for like 4 uh, hours or 5 hours uh, i'll see like at least few, um, 15 patients with a ultrasonography report showing some renal calcule or bladder calcule so yeah I, i did experience it that during my internship uh, uh we have observed it during our clinical portion so we thought why why not conduct a study on why why there why is there is high prevalence of renal stones during the areas in which our medical college was situated Our yes was so that's a great idea that's a great idea actually uh doing research for the benefit of the public i mean that's what expected from the research right i mean research uh, yes. is to be done for the benefit of the society and uh yes. choosing a topic which is more beneficial for your particular surroundings that's a great idea i mean it i mean you shouldn't uh, i mean you shouldn't choose a vague topic it's about the people coming to the opd so that the incidence of renal stones may decrease in coming days in future maybe uh, in the coming days at least as far as we are concerned we can give better awareness we can give better suggestions to the patients that's idea that's a great idea that's a great idea i mean uh, from your study you, from your study results uh, from your interpretations you can even manage things i mean you can Uh, you can plan some interventions based on your study so which might help the people of adilabad right uh, yes, to reduce sir. the incidence for the future so okay surya what is your motivation yes doing sir. this research yes, work sir. yeah actually uh, uh, i have wasted a lot of time during my second year so i thought to make use of my third year and fourth years in in a better and in a productive way so i have got to know what makes a medical student in a state college in a state studied college different from a deemed university or a, or a centralized medical college or in international medical student then i have got to know that in centralized medical colleges like aims or jipmer whatever the reputed colleges are and in international colleges they give much priority and much reference to their cv building cv building is nothing but the portfolio uh, which may consist of uh, paper presentations which may consist of case presentations which may consist of i mean article presentations and all and in that they give much priority and much importance to people who conduct research works so i thought uh, uh, it's good if we know about research work if you if you conduct about research work so that's my prior motivation and i thought like and i have got the doubt what if i succeed and what if i don't probably if i succeed then i'll have uh, the certificate from the icmr organization and i'll have the most tempting 50000 stipend from the icmr organization and uh, i'll have a uh, research uh, knowledge and i'll have a uh, research experience and if i fail in it then i'll have research knowledge then i'll have research experience then i'll get to know what topic would be better for pro- for better understanding of it and uh, there is also uh, a thing which, which i have got to know is you there is a chance of uh, increasing your internal marks in uh, departments if you conduct a research Uh, in your medical college during your ug so that's an additional advantage to give from your internals i mean i mean that's a good point actually people can use this opportunity to increase your internal marks too and um, yes. and surya what i have understood from you is opportunities everywhere everywhere opportunity is not like it's only in central institutes like uh, aims jipma do a research work yeah yes. you do have an opportunity you need to grab it that's it i mean you need to work hard for it and you need to explore i mean you need to have interest to explore this part if, even if you are placed in a even i think private medical colleges people also have this opportunity right yes yes sir. yes even uh, mbbs and bds students of one uh, of under graduation have this opportunity okay all over india all over india So, uh, Surya, uh, are you eligible for like uh, doing research every year? I mean, uh, the notification will come on every year, right? So, uh, in first year, second year, third year, and part two. I mean, during your undergraduate course, how many times you are eligible to do this research activities uh, of ICMR? Yes. So basically, this ICMR STS project is uh, for first year students, second year students, third year, and fourth year students. And the student can uh, register himself or herself. and can submit the proposal all these four years i mean we can submit in first year second year third year and fourth year but once if it get if it gets accepted in any of the following years then we can't do the next successive years 
so it is basically a one or none during your undergraduate time you can do only once and it can be in either of the four years or if you or you can't do it so it is one or none i mean if it gets approved it's done if it's not get approved yes, it not get uh, i mean uh, you apply we apply for a uh, uh, we we register ourselves and we and we put a proposal and if it don't get approved then you can try in the next years till your fourth year before you reach your internship and if it gets approved then you can do your project and you can submit the project and you'll get the publication win or win situation because if you get if your research gets approved your work is done you got your i mean you got your exploring part finished right in this research world yes. yeah and if yes. you are yeah if you are if your research work is not approved you will you will have an another opportunity to participate next year i mean you need to realize that you need to realize that uh, that it's it's free of cost right registration is free of cost yes registration is free of cost and your college and your mentor are going to spend uh, for your part i mean can you tell me about that part during the, part, during the process of our, of our uh, research and during the process of our uh, submission and all uh, it is a clear rule mentioned in icmr sts proposal and the instructions that the guide and the faculty and the college and the institution is responsible for all the expenses happen during that period of time for the student okay yeah th- uh, that's actually a good news and that's an important information too so what about if your research includes uh, some costly investigations i mean you need some okay so so basically uh, it is a short term studentship so it is a short term studentship where icmr have instructed the students to submit the proposal within 2 months so we have to do the research for 2 months so we have to choose a topic such that it is economically feasible for you and your guide and it's also econo- uh, timely feasible so you need to do a project which can be done during this short period of time uh, example if you do a micro microbiological culture and the culture takes you around 4 or 5 months then i don't think you can choose that topic for this icmr research because uh, the time limit is just 2 months so you need to, to choose a topic which can be done during this 2 months and it have to be feasible for both your guide and yourself that's a valid point that's a valid point so i hope everyone did understood about this uh, icmr research projects for uh, undergraduate medical students and uh, dental students i mean i hope you people will also uh, show some interest to explore the world of research uh, from this video i'll share the link of the website in the description below i'm going to plan on future sessions with surya regarding his research work in the same channel subscribe for my channel and uh, stay tuned uh, to know <laughs> yeah stay tuned to know about this uh, research work i mean uh, research work done by surya okay so that you will get some uh, knowledge of uh, his re- uh, you, you can acquire some knowledge from his research work and you can apply in your research work too yeah and uh, if possible we'll also plan future sessions on uh, different uh, methodologies used in research and all that kind of sessions we will plan okay like a uh, podcast or a discussion session whatever it may be okay and uh, thanks for watching please do like subscribe and share this video thanks for watching please do like subscribe and share to your friends whom you care